In ancient Greek mythology, a pantheon of powerful gods controlled the universe. Their leader was Zeus, god of the sky and protector of gods and men. In ancient Greece, Zeus was a hero, a father, and a judge. But what made Zeus such a compelling mythological figure wasn't his strength, but the many trials that shaped Zeus's character and his turbulent reign. Long before Zeus ruled from the highest peak of Mount Olympus, the universe was a limitless void called chaos. The ancient Greeks commonly personified natural phenomena to explain the forces of the universe. Some gods invented physical phenomena, but others, like primordial deities, represented and embodied these unexplainable forces. Chaos was simultaneously a mythological character and a void at the beginning of time. From Chaos's ancient body, three primordial gods burst into the universe. Their names were Gaia, the Earth, Tartarus, the Deep Abyss, and Eros, the Spirit of Love. Eros brought together Chaos and Gaia to create the gods, monsters, and spirits in the ancient Greek pantheon. Among the children of Gaia was Uranus, the first ruler of the heavens. Under the influence of Eros, Uranus fell in love with Gaia, and together they parented 18 children, three gigantic cyclopes, three 100-handed beasts called Hecatonchires, and 12 deities known as the Titans. The ancient Greek creation story describes how primordial gods brought the universe into being, but it also sets the stage for Zeus's rise to power. Zeus would one day become the greatest leader in ancient Greek mythology, but there were powerful forces standing in his way. The most formidable was Cronus, the leader of the Twelve Titans and Zeus's very own father. When Uranus ruled the heavens, he imprisoned six of Gaia's children, the Cyclopes and the Hecatonchires, in the pit of Tartarus. As punishment, Gaia convinced Cronus, the boldest of the Titans, to overthrow his father and become king of the universe. At first, Cronus's rule was prosperous and just, known as the Golden Age in ancient Greek mythology. The Earth was a lawless, immortal utopia, but a prophecy would soon change Cronus's fate. Like his father before him, Cronus would be dethroned by his own child. After hearing this prophecy, Cronus began devouring his children at the moment of birth. But Zeus, the youngest child, narrowly escaped his father's wrath. Zeus's mother, Rhea, tricked Cronus into swallowing a rock wrapped in swaddling blankets. Unknown to Cronus, Rhea concealed Zeus on the island of Crete, where he was raised by a nymph named Amalthea. On Crete, Zeus grew older, stronger, and wiser. After reaching manhood, he encountered Metis, the titan goddess of wisdom, who bestowed upon Zeus a poisonous drink to free his siblings from Cronus's stomach. Leaving the island of Crete, Zeus transformed into a cupbearer and disguised Metis's poison as red wine. When Cronus swallowed the poison, he expelled from his stomach all five of Zeus's siblings, Hestia, Hades, Poseidon, Hera, and Demeter. Together, the six children rebelled against the Titans and claimed ownership of the heavens, but the Titans would not recognize Zeus's leadership. As a result, the Titans and Olympians waged a violent, earth-shattering war called the Titanomachy. After 10 years, the Titan army, commanded by General Atlas, nearly overpowered the Olympians. For Zeus, the war was all but lost. Zeus freed the monstrous children of Gaia, the Cyclopes, and the Hecatonchires, whose power turned the tides of war in Zeus's favor. When the dust settled, the Titans were defeated. At last, Zeus ascended to the high seat of Mount Olympus, where he was crowned ruler of the gods. But like his father before him, Zeus was impulsive and spiteful. He notoriously delivered tortuous punishments onto his enemies. Atlas, general of the Titan army, was forced to hold the sky, while Cronus, once the king of the universe, was imprisoned in the pit of Tartarus for eternity. Gaia was enraged by Zeus's cruelty, 
As punishment, she commanded the giants, the ancient children of Uranus, to overthrow the Olympians. The giants were massive creatures who hurled entire mountains and islands. The wrath of the giants ravaged the ancient world and nearly destroyed Mount Olympus. But with the help of Hercules, a demigod with unparalleled strength, Zeus defeated the giants. But Gaia was still enraged at Zeus, so she bore the most terrifying of all her children, a fire-breathing, 100-headed monster named Typhon. Most of the Olympians fled from Typhon's horrifying figure. Zeus, the only god remaining, engaged Typhon in a devastating battle, the fate of the universe hanging in the balance. Finally, with the aid of his thunderbolts, Zeus defeated the monstrous Typhon and buried him under Mount Etna, an active volcano on the coast of Sicily. Zeus overcame incredible hurdles to earn his crown. He was a war hero and a fearless leader, but Zeus was also a very flawed character, vulnerable to temptation and prone to hypocrisy. He frequently punished Olympians for meddling in mortal affairs, yet Zeus changed ancient history more than any other god. In one story, Zeus took revenge on humanity by sending to the earth a woman named Pandora, who possessed a box she was told never to open. Eventually, Pandora's curiosity overwhelmed her. She peeked inside the box, releasing onto the world an onslaught of evil forces, including death, disease, and hunger. Zeus was manipulative and vengeful towards his subjects, but he was also a promiscuous character who abused his power to seduce gods and humans. Zeus had many mistresses, who he famously visited in a bizarre variety of shapes. Zeus's mistresses yielded many mortal and immortal children, including Hermes, Artemis, and Apollo. While Zeus was the ruler of gods and men, he was neither perfect nor all-powerful. His authority was challenged repeatedly. He disobeyed his rules and abused his power. On many occasions, he was deceitful and impious. But Zeus's flawed personality reflected ancient Greek ideals. Zeus embodied the morals, triumphs, and hardships of the people who worshipped him. He may have been king of the gods, but for all his power, Zeus was remarkably human.